Hey guys, welcome back to the GoBros channel. Today we're going to be working on the CBR 600 off-road buggy. Um, we're going to be working on the chain tensioner. Um, we got some parts in, so I'll go ahead and show you what we got. So we just got our pillow block bearings in today. Um, I went with a three-quarter inch shaft. Got two of them. And these are going to be placed there and there. And then we will have our shaft running uh, in between them. Our only issue here is the shaft that we have is not three quarter inch. So we're going to have to grind the ends down a little bit um, as uniform as we can to make them fit in here. And then once we get them in the right position, I'm going to um, file those grooves down a little bit and then I'll be able to slide the sprocket on here to see where I need to put it. And then I can weld it on there and then we should be good to go. I measured the distance uh, in between there and it is 15 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that at 15 inches. All right, so I got both sides ground down. So if I put that one like that, that one something like that, that's how it'll look. Spins nicely on there. And this sprocket will just be on there. I gotta grind that down a little bit and we should be able to slide that on. All right, just got the splines on the gear ground down a little bit and now I can slide it on this shaft wherever we're gonna need to put it. And I'll set it on the buggy here and let you see how it looks. All right, just got the chain tensioner jack shaft assembly on the buggy here. And as you can see, looks like it's gonna work pretty well. Um, my sprocket, I am able to move on there so I can um, adjust where I want it and then I'll end up tacking it into place and making sure it's going to work and then welding all the way around it. Um, but I can adjust that wherever I want. Our only issue as of right now is I have to figure out a way to make this clear because as you can see the case there is in our way. So I don't know if I'll have to make some other jack shaft or sprocket or something that's going to be able to keep it away from our case area. After I figure out a solution for clearing this case, then we'll drill holes for the pillow blocks, and we should be good to put bolts in them and try it out. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. And please consider hitting the subscribe button.